So guys, you can see we're out here with the bees and what I want to do today is I want to get into at least one of these hives and see what the status of nectar collection is. First, we're going to have to do some cleaning up around these hives. You can see it's really a huge mess out here. There's grass that's really, really high, at least a foot and a half tall. There's woodenware that's laying around from some dead outs last year and this stuff needs to be cleaned up. Last fall was not a great season for me as far as not having a lot of time to do things. It was great in other ways, but one of the things that got neglected around here was the bees and unfortunately that lack of time just resulted in when I had a dead out I would just kind of throw the woodenware to the side not having enough time to deal with it so now we've got to clean this mess up and uh, kind of get it looking like these this place has been maintained halfway decent and after that we'll do what's probably my least favorite chore and that's trimming around the hives it's kind of unpredictable how the bees will react to that sometimes it's okay sometimes it's not we'll wear a bee suit just to be safe and I know that y'all can't see this at least not from the ground but there's a swarm up in that tree and uh, it's probably a good 40 feet up so there's not a whole lot I can do about that. It's possible that that swarm will go into one of my swarm traps. Um, I may put a box or two out with a bottom board on it just to see if that helps. That's what you got to watch out for in little places like this. That's a nasty little bugger right there. Oh, missed. Putting on some gloves just in case. I'm not sure how well the camera's picking this up, but these bees are coming out of their hives with, with a purpose. There is something out there in the woods that they want to bring back and convert into honey. And that's one of the evidences of a nectar flow. When we see bees coming out of the hives, kind of like a shotgun blast, they're on a mission right now and uh, it's pretty exciting to watch. All right, so we're gonna give this a try. I'm not so sure how good it's gonna go because I've actually taken about three stings already today. Uh, so they're a little bit testy and I was just walking around the hives picking up stuff. It's not really normal, so I don't know if it's the weather or if they're testy for some other reason, but it's gotta be done. It's gotta be cleaned up around. And if it doesn't work out so good, uh, we can come back in the morning and check on the honey because there's no way you can get into a hive that's been, uh, that's been stirred up, that's been agitated. Oh my goodness, these bees, what are they doing? I must have a testy hive. They've never, they've never really acted like this before. Rarely, maybe it's the weather. Probably the weather.
So that actually went really well. So there's a few of them that are a little bit irritated, but all in all, um, they, they tolerated that pretty well. We'll come back in the morning and see about the honey in the hives. So it's the next day and they've had plenty of time to cool down and uh, the weather's okay. It was drizzling rain just a teeny tiny bit a second ago, but hopefully these bees are in a decent enough shape to where we can get into them and see how they're doing on honey collection. We'll start with this one right here. This is a pretty tall hive. It's got Give them a little puff of smoke here. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boxes on it. Of course, a lot of that is, is brood. And just from what I can kind of see from here, I don't think there's a lot going on in this very top box. It seems pretty empty. So we'll go ahead and take it off and go on to the next one. It's got a little weight to it. All right, now I can see from here that there is a lot of activity in this hive there's some capped honey going on in here so let's pull one out maybe two out and kind of see what they're doing oh yeah check that out look at that it's time to harvest so i'm using my gopro today that doesn't have a flip screen on it so i'm hoping that i'll be able to kind of see what i'm doing so this is what I want to check on. I just want to see what they're bringing back exactly. The consistency of the color mainly is what I'm interested in, the color of this honey. And it looks pretty clear. I'm going to taste this. Tasting honey in a bee suit is always a challenge. I'll taste some more just, for, just to be sure. Yeah. So that's pretty thin. Thin, light honey. Not a whole lot of, not a whole lot of character to that honey. Actually, I wonder how much of it is... Uh, is the sugar syrup I was feeding them. Probably not a lot because it does have some good color to it, but that's very early, very thin, very light spring honey. I'm going to take one more frame out and uh, I want to show y'all. Ooh, that's never good. And I want to show y'all something that's kind of cool. Oh, that's not, that's not cool. That's not the cool thing I wanted to show you. So what I really wanted to show you was these capped cells, and I don't know how well you can see it, but there's one worker bee coming out right here about to hatch, but there's a lot of uh, capped cells, or a few rather, capped cells still on this frame of honey. And really what that means is uh, they've started putting up honey, or nectar rather, hot and heavy, and they're just kind of putting it where they had brood. What's not quite as cool is this right here. This is a queen cell, and this is the time of year, of course, when bees swarm. And this is possibly, very possibly, a swarm cell. It could be that they're trying to supersede an old queen. I really am not sure. But uh, either way, they're probably going to do something with this, whether it's replacing their old queen or swarming. I'm not really sure. It doesn't look like it's too far from hatching. So uh, we'll just keep an eye on it, I suppose. Uh, I'm going to go down one more box just for kicks and see what they're doing down there, too. Oh, ooh, that's heavy. They got a lot of honey in there. Wow. So just looking at it from the top, there's quite a bit of honey in here as well. There's some brood in these middle frames. So I'm going to pull... I'm going to pull this frame right here because it looks like it's mostly honey. And like I said, they're hatching out the brood that's in these center frames right here and they'll they'll just replace it with with nectar when they hatch not a big deal of course i guess it's entirely possible that this is the hive that swarmed yesterday i'm not really sure there's still a very large population of bees in here so that makes me think it's probably not all right so here we go here's a good example so here's a great example of what i was talking about there was brood in here most likely not that long ago and uh they are they're just filling it back in with nectar there's some bee bread down in here as well um, but this is nectar i mean this is nectar that hasn't quite been dried out into honey yet it's getting really close but it's just not quite there so let me do some quality control here mm. yeah all right so let's put this one back in and let them repair my little gouge there so not a, actually not a ton of flavor to that honey it's very very thin uh, not a whole lot of character to it uh, as the year goes on uh, it will probably get a little bit of a a little bit more flavor to it but it's still still good it would still be good on a biscuit really my main goal here was just to see how much they were putting up and uh, they have put up a tremendous amount of honey or nectar in a very short amount of time i don't think the flow has been going on now for more than maybe two and a half or three weeks and uh the population in this hive is very very strong and they're putting honey up or putting nectar up rather 
like mad and this box is pretty much empty so that'll give them some more space to continue let's check one more hive and then we'll leave them alone so these bees were sweethearts i hope the next hive is as well so i'm actually a little bit hesitant to get into this hive because i think this is the hive i'm about 99 percent sure this is the hive that was made from the swarm that i pulled out of a cedar tree last year not here possibly wild bees and yesterday they were acting just a little bit irritable but they seem to be okay for now let's um decent activity in this top box they're putting up nectar pretty good let's go into the next box and see this box is looking pretty good too we'll pull this one first because i think that this one's got mostly brood on it oh yeah lots and lots and lots of brood in this one still so here we go this is a great example i hope y'all can see this so if you see here you got this rainbow pattern of where the brood used to be and there's a few little pieces in there a few little cap cells in there very few but as soon as they hatch out they're just back filling the brood nest with um with nectar and same way on that side and eventually that frame that we just pulled out is going to pretty well be the same way but we'll do a quality control on this right here as well hope that y'all can see that fairly well mm. oh yeah oh good oh goodness yeah so that's um oh that's a lot more like it that's the stuff that i enjoy that tastes like uh, some good spring honey there probably clover and blackberries and that kind of thing so oh yeah that's that <laughs> that makes me excited right there i'm excited for the harvest this year all right guys i lied to you i'm gonna do one more box but i'm not looking for honey in this box i'm looking to see the health of the hive so this box a while back before the nectar flow started was was queenless and they were in pretty dire straits so i pulled a couple of frames of brood from another box and i made sure i had some good young brood some eggs and so forth that they could make their own queen out of and i just pulled a couple of frames for another box stuck them in there and uh, left them alone and as far as i can tell they have bounced back to some degree we'll dig a little bit and see how much as you can tell it's still a very low population of bees so it's not the not the healthiest hive ever but they are they're surviving and they would not have survived this long without a queen so i feel like there's probably a queen in here we just got to find some eggs well here's some honey in here but it's obviously old honey from last year let's keep digging here <clears throat> And it's actually pretty remarkable that they didn't get robbed out during uh, during the early spring oops, because they had a low population they've got a whole lot of honey in here uh, it really just makes sense that they would have gotten robbed out but they didn't and of course being robbed out that would have that would have killed the hive so i'm not seeing any evidence whatsoever of a queen um I'm going to go back to the top box and look in it because it's possible that she's operating up there. Okay. All right. Yeah, she's doing she's doing her thing up here it looks like, but she's not doing much. So you can see on this frame right here there's a queen cell right there it's an old one and here's a an emergency queen cell up here and uh, there's a couple on the back side as well but other than that it's a pretty rough looking box of bees there's eggs in here a few eggs and they're on the bottom of the cells there's one egg here on the side of the cell which could tell me that i've got a laying worker in here but there are some on the bottoms of the cells standing up where they're supposed to be and there's some multiples in here as well but they're on the bottom which could be the case that it's a new queen and she's just kind of getting started hadn't quite learned the ropes yet but the population of this hive is really really bad i'm going to steal a couple of frames 
from another hive and uh, and uh, let them oh and here's a here's a drone with deformed wing syndrome i treated these bees for mites but man they are looking rough i don't know that this box is going to survive it may be to the point where i should just shake them out and distribute these these frames over over the other hives so here's what i've done i have taken two frames out of this box and i'm going to replace these or swap these rather with two frames that have brood and eggs in them from some other box and i've also reduced the size of this hive down to three boxes so half size i'll put the boxes that are not being used on another hive another three hives to give them more room for honey that'll give these bees less face space to defend and it will um help the other hives have some more room to put honey so let's find some frames in another hive these bees seem to be very very healthy very very productive so i'll take a couple of frames out of this hive oh yeah oh that's heavy it's good so i think this is going to be the box that i get my frames to donate to the other hive with and this box is just full of bees this is great <laughs> not that one that's full of honey and bee bread well there's some open brood over here but not quite what i wanted yeah so they're back filling this with honey let's go down farther and see if we can get some get some brood Oh yeah, this is what I was looking for right here. So I've got open brood here, I've got lots of capped brood. And what this is gonna do when I put it in that other box, it's gonna be able to get those bees a little population boost because these bees are not too far from hatching out. Maybe, mm, well, maybe a week, something like that. And uh, that'll give them a little population boost. But I also want to make sure I put some eggs in there so that if they need to, they can make themselves another queen. I'm not seeing any eggs right off on this one. Let's check. Let's check another box. Or well, let's check another frame, rather. Hmm. That's looking good. Super nice. All right, I'm going to give them this frame right here. This has got eggs, brood, and, uh, and capped brood. So that should help them out. And uh, give them these. I'll give them three, actually. I'll give them these other two that have lots and lots of good, good capped brood on them. And I'll put these two frames from the weaker hive into this one. And a lot of y'all are probably thinking, well, isn't that going to set this healthy hive back? Well, no, it's not. And the reason is this hive is so incredibly healthy that she is going to immediately come up and lay eggs in these frames that she has space in. So she's not good. This box is not going to lose uh, population to speak of at all one of the joys of a healthy beehive a good strong healthy hive is that they can take care of their self so well except when it comes to varroa mites unfortunately Now I got most of the bees shaken out of those boxes back into this weaker hive because they need all the help that they can get. So now I'm just gonna distribute those three boxes over the other hives. And this will help all the healthy hives not run out of room so fast to put honey.
So guys, that's going to do it for this video. I had planned to plant a food plot in this video as well, but this has gone kind of long. So we're going to end it here. Plus it's getting late and I forgot to go somewhere here pretty soon. So I'm just going to end it here, but I really appreciate you watching the video. These hives are just doing really, really well. Five out of the six of them are, and hopefully, hopefully we can see a bounce back on that sixth hive. And if not, that, that's okay. That'll give me some, it'll give me some comb to go into the other hives, I guess. So anyway i'm happy to report that the honey is coming in really really strong or the nectar is coming in strong if i don't say nectar that's coming in somebody will undoubtedly correct me in the comments so the nectar is coming in and uh, they're making it into honey but it's coming in extremely strong right now and these healthy hives that have a good population are putting it up uh, like gangbusters and i'm very excited uh, hopefully we'll get a good harvest this year it'll be probably two weeks uh, possibly two and a half weeks before i'm able to actually get these frames out and uh and harvest the honey but um, it'll be it'll be a lot of fun when we do and i'll try my best to film that as well so that's going to do it for this video i will see y'all on the next one